this lady <laughs> pop hunter here with another weekly roundup taking a look at some of what is hitting the adult collector's action figure primarily market here shortly shortly stuff's going up on pre-orders folks Ooh. are you gonna jump on it are you anyways uh announcements uh -huh. of course the toy lanta is coming up toy lanta march 24th through the 26th at the hilton and peachtree corners and we are going to be there yeah and actually we might get a couple of videos out of that because we're going to be going more than one day yeah so that well, we'll see how it goes yeah we'll bring that to you and hopefully you can get out there because it's what it's a it's a good local show yeah and, and one of the biggest in the country of course if you see us give us a wave oh, come over and say hey and then after that april 1st mm -hmm. is the next toy swap meet at the uh, hosted by retroville in powder springs another highly recommended show you yeah that some, one's pretty good you get some surprises out there mm-hmm and then the next day, <laughs> the Atlanta Comic Convention, Sunday the 2nd. And that and the Atlanta Comic Convention is actually a big deal. Yeah, it but is. They do it, what, four times a year? They added so. yeah. this one in, so yeah. they squeeze this one in, which is cool. Yeah. I don't know if my wallet like it, but no. it's still cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's a popular. It is a good show. It's a very popular local show. Yeah, it is a very good show. Reminder for those of you who have not entered our 10,000 subscriber giveaway contest mm -hmm. is for the uh, Tom Palmer signed limited edition vintage print because this is from like the late 80s. Mm. It's a big piece, it's like 18 by 24. And I'll leave a link at the end of the video to where you can enter that if you have not. And a reminder also that just Thursday at noon. Mm -hmm. Thursday this past noon, Thursday. Yeah, we had done a live interview slash conversation with Justice Curry. Yeah, that was fun. So I'll put a link to that at the end also. If you haven't seen it, you yeah. can check that out. And one more thing before yeah. we, we jump in. Thank you, Mark. Yay! Mark sent a package, a, I guess they now they call it an A-OK. A-OK. We used to, back in the day, it was an attaboy. But now it's an A-OK. Sent us an A-OK package to our post office box. And we appreciate that. We yes. put the video up earlier, uh -huh. actually. Some really cool stuff. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll jump in. <laughs> and we're going to start off with, uh, this is Black Dots. A company called Black Dots. And that is Hornhead. And it is an official Mad Walls product. How well, big is that? This one is like basketball size. This oh, sucker wow. is like uh, like 12 inches across. Oh, wow. And it is made out of vinyl. Mm hmm So it's like a basketball. Yeah, I don't know if you want to bounce this at $350, though. What? <laughs> oh, my God. I think you can get vintage ones cheaper than that. But if you want, like... I don't know, a life-size Mad Balls, I guess, one-to-one -one scale Mad Ball. I don't wow. know what you would call this. $350 for Black Dots. Wow. It looks good. Yeah, it, it looks, looks good. It looks scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll dive into Funko and Already. knock it out. There's very little to say about Funko this week. This is the Gryffindor cover, and it comes in that acrylic case like that. And I don't normally throw out prices on Funko. This is $30. $30 plus the postage and everything because you can only get it from the Funko shop. It looks cool. What's a Gryffindor? It's the symbol of the Gryffindor house from Harry Potter. Oh. Okay. And mm. you've got a Pokemon. Oh, you need only, one more of that. Only at the Pokemon Center. Another Pokemon. Oh, I thought that was a Target. Okay. No, no Pokemon that's not a Target. Center. Where's that? I don't know where the hell that is. Okay. <laughs> How I wonder if I think it's interesting Nintendo will let them use Pokemon, but they will not let them touch Mario Brothers. Because they're gonna screw Mario Brothers, then they're gonna be diamond, they're, it's gonna be gold, it's gonna be metallic, it's gonna be flat. They're tight fisted with that uh, Mario property. Yeah, you don't wanna ruin it. Well it's their flag character, honestly. I thought Donkey Kong. Well Donkey Kong's part of Mario Brothers. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's tied in. Mm -hmm. But uh anyway, we've got this is a theme park version Star Wars R2-D2. It says Funko.com exclusive, 100 years of Disney. 
Mm. Sodas, some what if sodas. Uh, Funko's been around 25 years. Well, yeah, the company has, not the pops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the company's been around since the late 90s. Hmm. When, the, when dude was selling bobbleheads in local stores. Yeah. And, and uh, asking them to please set up a display for them. And then uh, Hella, what if, oh, the, all three of these are what if sodas. Yeah. And then your seventh of 12 pops that nest together for the Captain America Civil War Amazon exclusive. Nesting. So we're getting there. I wonder what they're, uh, if they're going to do Giant Man. They can't possibly. Oh, um, no. And here is a, a sneak peek at Dorothy and Toto. Oh. Diamond. And, of course, that's the uh, VHS box. With Diamond? Thing. That's going to Hot Topic? No, well, they don't just do that at Hot Topic anymore. Mm -hmm. They spread that around. Mm -hmm. Now, Hasbro. Hasbro's going to take up the bulk of this today. Hasbro's <laughs> got a lot. Yeah, I know. And the G.I. Joes, I've shown them before, but mm -hmm. these are the original releases. I showed, like, uh, sneak peeks or unofficial photos. Yeah. But here you go. These are 26 apiece. There's your barbecue Marauders version, Mad Marauders barbecue. Twenty six dollars. Yeah, and no window. It, the yard doesn't look bad on the box, but you know. Yeah, at least are, it's not a picture. People are pissed about those windows. I'll tell you, there is bazooka. I like bazooka. It's interesting artwork, though. It's yeah. weird, but it's interesting. I right. like bazooka. Yeah. There is your uh, copperhead, which it doesn't feel right to have Copperhead and not have the water moccasin because mm. he was always in that boat. Mm -hmm. uh, Cover Girl, I don't know what happened with that artwork. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> like an anime or something? It looks like it. And that doesn't even look like Cover Girl well, right there. Cover Girl's got a cell phone. <laughs> mm. Oh that, my. Mm, I don't know. Crimson Bat? That's decent artwork. Yeah. Justice Curry would like that. You think so? He likes bats. He yeah, say. he does. Yeah. Falcon. Who's Falcon? Falcon is from uh, G.I. Joe. I don't remember him. <laughs> I think he, he was in the movie. He I think his voice was done by Don Johnson, if I'm thinking of the right character. Oh, okay. Duke's, but uh, he wasn't like in the cartoon, the, the daily yeah, cartoon. Yeah, I don't think so. He, mm -hmm. he was... um. He was the troublemaking brother of Duke, yeah. and they threw him to Sergeant Slaughter. Outback, mm -hmm. I always liked this character, too. Mm. I like Outback. And there is your rock and roll, updated rock and roll. Mm -hmm. And then this is one everybody's buzzing about, the scrap iron, with the removable helmet now, which I don't think they ever showed him without his helmet on. And his face is, it's hard to tell, but on the left side of his face, it's all scarred and burned up because he had an accident. Oh, okay. This is not 26. This is 46. Because it comes with that little thing. Yeah, it comes with the drone. And this is going to be a popular one right here. Shipwreck. And that's Shipwreck because a lot of people liked Shipwreck. Yeah. And one of their best episodes, standalone episodes, mm -hmm. not a two or a five parter, was uh, Shipwreck telling the story. That to was the little funny kids. to the little kids. That was uh, that was hilarious. That was a that was well done. And then uh, torpedo. Back to twenty six dollars, obviously. Mm -hmm. And as we transition on, mm -hmm. their retro collection, which still has plastic Hasbro, which, by the way, the Hasbro Legends retros. And here's your Ben Riley Spider Man. These are twenty six now, also, for these carded ones. But that's not legend size, is it? it Isn't is. that the it is. smaller one? It is legend size. Just they, oh, it looks they, small they right there. They card it to look like a Toy Biz figure. Twenty six dollars. What your, happened to twelve? There's your chasm. Well, th those are the, you're thinking of the three and three quarter inch lead uh, retro figures. Oh, that's why those are like around thirteen bucks. Hmm. Good thing I'm not into none of that. Electra Daredevil. What's up with her face? Is that a helmet? Yeah, she's wearing da Daredevil's helmet. It's it's the Daredevil Electra um, from some crossover. Uh, Jessica Drew Spider Woman. I don't know none of those people. Notice again the shorting the sh uh, 
the, the lessening of accessories. Miles Morales, masked. And then the rose. And I'm kind of surprised to see them do that one. Mm -hmm. The rose. It's a very uh, low key. It's a key issue, but it's a low one. And then the tarantula. One of them. I don't know which tarantula, though. I think there were three. And then also from Hasbro, we got some... This is their epic stuff. Mech Strike figures. And these look like they got Walmart written all over them. They look uh, like they got Dollar General written all over them. Yeah. So he's... And of course, he's got these, like, dinosaur head things on his hands. I don't know what they're going for here. Here's a... Uh, Black Panther that transforms into um, Ravage, I guess. Black Panther doesn't transform. He comes with that thing, right? No, he turns into that. Oh, he transforms into that. I think I think that's I the idea here. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Black no. Panther. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Black Panther and Saber Claw. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. I didn't think so. And, but they can combine together to make the thing in the right picture. So they, they combine. Okay. All right. I don't know what the price point is on these. There's um, Ultron. Mm hmm Yeah, I have no idea what these are going for right now, though. you see it at Walmart. There's, uh, I guess, the new Captain America. So did he change his name to Captain America so it's no more Falcon? So now somebody else is going to come in and be the Falcon? I, I don't know. Is it going to be a girl? I don't know how that was. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, Mega, uh, Mech Strike, uh, Mechasaurus, Iron Man, with uh, some kind of like dinosaur looking gun on his hand. Thor. Wow, look at that face sculpt. So, this is basically taking the figures and just merging them with a dinosaur? Yeah, something like that. But look at the look at the lazy face sculpt on that. These these got to be like ten bucks at Walmart. That's what you think. Yeah, Nerf. Um, Nerf gun. Yeah, claw. One for Spider Man. <laughs> and one for Captain America. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is junk. I'm sorry. I know somebody probably likes this, but I don't care for it. Oh, and there's one uh, I missed for Iron Man with some kind of dinosaur creature. I don't have a picture of the box. Mm -hmm. And that's it for Hasbro. Okay, we, good. We do, hot have, toys. we do have some hot toys, and that is Tech from the Bad Batch. Tech from the Bad Batch. A lot of accessories, mm. anyways, for $2.95. Two hundred and ninety. That's not so bad. Uh, it isn't. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like everything else is three fifty and above. Yeah, unless it's uh, three zero. Yeah. The three zero. Not, well, I'm talking about hot toys, but yeah, he, yeah. three zero is still in the hundred and fifty dollar range. Yeah, hundred fifty to two hundred range for three mm -hmm. zero. And we have Wrecker also. From the bad bad. Wrecker is three oh five. Wrecker costs um. more than Tech did. For the bad back figures. For those of you who are still clinging to Star Wars. How about Kyoto? And more of their Rebel Tech figures. You got the Flash. Mm. 112 scale. Okay. It's the Flash. Flash comes with uh, a lot of pieces. I've heard that these are decent figures. I've never handled one myself. That's the accessory package. And if you see that it's like snap in face, face plates, which I, I hate those. This is 115 bucks. And you say it's one six scale, right? 12. Oh, 12 scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, if you're going to do the flash, you may as well do reverse, reverse flash. flash, zoom, which is basically just opposite colors of the other figure because they're <laughs> literally identical. <laughs> and so is the price. At $115 suggested retail, and there's his accessories. Oh, he gets one less face place change out. Nah. They cheated you. I expect four face plates, and I got three. What is that, a plug or something? I'm not sure what that thing is. Because it's on both of them. It, from here, it kind of looks like a plug. Yeah, I'm not sure what that thing is for. Part mm -hmm. of the stand, perhaps. Maybe. 
And then McFarlane. Okay. And they have more of these, what do they call, page punchers. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Batman Beyond page puncher. And these are the little ones. These are the three inch ones that come with the comic book in the back. Yeah. So you got to tear those out and grade them. Yeah, I've seen I, people um, <laughs> showing theirs coming back from uh, yeah, CGC. Yeah, people have been doing that. Yeah, getting them graded. Lex Luthor. Aquaman. Flash. Uh, blow up doll Aquaman. With his, <laughs> his mouth doesn't look right at all. They did that with the seven inch, with the six inch one too. Did they? Big goofy mouth on it. I don't know what they why they did that to Aquaman. <laughs> And then uh, Rebirth Batman. Mm. No accessories. Because Not you get, even a battery. Because you get a comic book. And then they give you a figure that's out of scale with absolutely everything. Mm. And another one from his Dragon series. This is Series 8 from McFarlane's Dragons. And that's Tora. Which is an 11-inch figure. It's $42. Hmm. It's a, and it's a, it's a figurine. It doesn't pose. Oh, it's not an action it, figure? That thing doesn't move, no. Oh. But people like those. And then NECA. NECA. NECA, more of their Gargoyles stuff. And there you have uh, David Xanatos with a suggested retail of 48 Hmm. $48. That's Jonathan Frakes. Oh, is it? Yeah. I liked him on, um, oh, what's that show I used to watch? Beyond Belief. Yeah, Beyond Belief. He was the second host, right? Yeah, he was yeah, the second, the second host. host on Beyond Belief. And of course, Star Trek The Next Generation is where most people know him from. Mm. But he did the voice work on this character. And then uh, there's um, Eliza Maza, I think. And her suggested is 42. And one of his co-stars from Star Trek, I forget her name, the woman who played Deanna Troy, did the voice of this character. Okay. So they, they have, must have the same agent. I remember when NECA was 24 and 99. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that long no, ago. No, it wasn't. Uh, but mm, those days are long gone. Yeah. Star Ace, the Cyclops from the Ray Harryhausen collection. Because Ray Harryhausen was a genius. Mm -hmm. 12 and a half inches tall. This is $200. It's a vinyl uh, figurine. These aren't cheap. But they are popular yeah. because people have an affinity for Ray Harryhausen. There's also an upgraded version that comes with the stand and the little... I know it doesn't come with anything little. It comes with the stand. <laughs> oh, no, it does. With the little uh, building. That's what it was. Yeah. And this is 280 though. Uh, $80 for... Or is the stand... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm all screwed up. It's the... Um, they're showing you the stand without him on it. So you're paying 80 bucks for the block that he's standing on. Okay, okay, okay. That's what it is. I know, I'm a mess. I'm yeah. all over the place. Yeah, you're everywhere. How about Super 7 with another wave of... Wave 10. Wave 10. Yeah, of the this Ninja Turtles. This is my final wave. That's the last time. Yeah. Casey Jones, and this is the Mirage Studios version, Casey Jones. Mm -hmm. $55, of course, for all of these because they are Ultimates. Ninja April. She was a ninja? I don't know. Maybe on the cartoon she did something stupid. Because mm -hmm. look at her nunchucks with the uh, microphones. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I was never uh, a fan of the cartoon. I wasn't either. I watched mm -hmm. it like a couple episodes. But I always thought it was goofy. Yeah. So I don't really remember it that well. I mean, I, I do like it because yeah. I remember watching it and I like how the figures look. So that brings back that nostalgia. But I don't know if I want to even re-watch it. I might watch a couple of episodes and to feel see it what, it, yeah, yeah, what it that's feels the like. Best, best uh, option, probably. Yeah, but I did like the movies. The movies I thought were fine. Yeah, because sometimes the... Uh, and you mean the 90s films, The right? 90s? I like the 2000 ones. Oh, you did? I like the 2000 okay. ones better. Um, okay. I thought I liked the way they looked better because it was, you know, they had a different um, body style. Yeah. And I thought the um, the of plot course. was fine. The difference being that those were CGI and the originals were guys in rubber costumes. Yeah. But, and uh, um, <laughs> I thought the storylines were, were good. Uh -huh. I liked it. I don't want them to make a new movie because who knows what you get. But I thought oh, both, both sets were good. It's, I know they're redoing the cartoon. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, people are already fussing. No. But, uh... Here we go with the Rat King. 
Oh, I thought that was the um guy, the camera guy in disguise. No, it's Rat King. Oh. And then Rocker Leo. <laughs> Rocker Leo. Mm. And one more uh, left field figure here for you from Trick or Treat Studios. There is a Toxie in a five inch scale. Mm, that looks good. I like Toxic Crusader uh, because of the bright colors on it. Yeah. And he does come with a bottle of slime. Remember when they used to do that? I remember that. I don't know what the packaging is supposed to look like, though. $20, mm. actually. That's so not $20, bad. $20, yeah. So, for the figure or for the slime? For, for both. Oh. So, that being said, mm -hmm. is there anything you saw this week that caught your eye? I like the Wizard of Oz pop. Oh, no. Because I like Wizard of Oz. Yes. Will I get it? Don't know. Have to see it in the store. Mm -hmm. Won't go online for it. Got to find it in the store. Okay. Um, and I am collecting, like I said, the Super Seven Ninja Turtles. Yes. So, and like I said before, with Super with the Ninja Turtles and the Thundercats from Super Seven at Wave Ten, I'm stopping. Yeah. So that's Wave Ten. So I'll get that wave, and I'm not getting any more. Okay. Period. Because it's just too much. <laughs> and it's hard to keep track because I was looking today to make sure of which ones because um, it's, it's so, so many that that are still on pre-order that oh, was yeah. ordered like two years ago, literally. And um, so I'm like, man, did I get this one? So I'm going back and looking and seeing. And um, so, yeah, I'll sure. get that one. And then they did come out with one more wave of... Um, Thundercats recently, so I'll get that. And I, I can't remember what wave that was. I think it was either wave eight or nine. So yeah. But other than that, it was nothing else that that I like. I like the GI Joes. I won't uh -huh. get any because I don't collect GI Joes. Sure. But I like the way they look. Yeah, and I, I like the the uh, classified Joes also. Mm -hmm. But same problem. I'm just like I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't. I stopped getting them a while ago because yeah. I just could not find them. And keep in mind, if you've noticed on the sides of the packages and looked at those numbers, yeah, seventy-four. Uh, yeah, that's right. Scrap iron mm -hmm. is number seventy-four. Mm -hmm. So in the uh, what three years or whatever, they've yeah. cranked out seventy-four of these. How do you catch up with that? You know, I'm just like, Ugh, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't hardly ever find them anyways. So, yeah, I, I gave up on that a while back. So, hey guys, I'll throw it out there. Did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.